Have you ever looked at the book of Psalms and wondered what it's all about? The Psalms are a lot of things. They are exciting stories. They are lessons in gratitude. They are examples of powerful prayers, and they are so much more. Today, we are going to focus on how the book of Psalms can help us better understand the temple. But before we do that, let's answer one important question. What is the Book of Psalms? Actually, it's a collection of 150 ancient Israelite poems. The Israelites loved poetry and wrote a lot of it throughout their history. Some of these poems were sung in the temple at Jerusalem, and some were spoken in prayer in the Israelites' homes. And over time, certain poems were used more and became more important than others. They got into the top 150 Israelite hits, so to say. And so those poems were compiled into a book that we know as Psalms. These poems were organized and divided into five sections or books. Books one and two zoom in on the life of King David and his family. Book three zooms back out to show us the fall of the Israelite nation and David's family line. And books four and five provide the Israelites and all of us with hope for the future through the Messiah who would overcome all evil. So the book of Psalms is really the story of all mankind's separation from God and our desperate need for a savior to bring us back to him. But it is also so much more than that. In fact, it's also a wonderful way that we can practice and learn the language of symbolism, which is the same language used in God's holy temples. Now, you might be wondering what symbolism is. It can probably be best understood by taking a deeper look at everyone's favorite holiday, Christmas. Christmas has so many symbols that help us remember the real meaning of the holiday. For example, what part of the real Christmas story does a candy cane help you remember? That's right, it is a symbol of the shepherd's crook because the shepherds came to visit baby Jesus. Here's another one. What part of the real Christmas story do Christmas lights help you remember? That's right. The shining lights are a symbol of the star that shone in the sky when Jesus was born. Let's try one more. What part of the real Christmas story do presents help you remember? That's right. They can be a symbol for the gifts that the wise men brought to young Jesus. See, you already speak the language of symbolism at Christmas time. It's simply taking something you're familiar with and finding the deeper spiritual meaning behind it. But Why symbolism in the first place? Why not just say exactly what you mean? There are many reasons, but let's talk about two of them. First, symbolism requires us to think more. We have to spend time really pondering to understand the meaning of the symbols. And this allows us to connect to the spirit and learn even more. Second, symbols are memorable. The beautiful imagery of symbols helps us to remember things that we might otherwise forget. Every time we look at a Christmas tree, we can be reminded of stars, shepherds, crooks, and wise men's gifts. Now it's time to take our Christmas symbolism skills and try them on something else, the Psalms. In Psalm 2 verse 3 it says, Thou, O Lord, art a shield for me. Now the Lord is obviously not a shield. He is a person. So let's start asking questions to understand this symbolism. What does a shield do? It protects someone from danger and even possible death. So how does Jesus protect you from danger and death? One way is that he saved you from both spiritual and physical death through his atonement and his resurrection. Jesus really is a shield. Let's try another one. Psalm 31:12 says, I am like a broken vessel. Now the person writing this was obviously not a vessel. If they were, they wouldn't have hands to write the psalm with. (laughs) So let's try to find the symbolism by asking some questions. What does a vessel do? It holds something inside, probably a liquid. So what happens when that vessel is cracked? It can't do its job. It can't hold things together. So maybe a broken vessel could symbolize when someone feels that they are falling apart or can't do the things they feel they should be doing. They would feel like a broken vessel. In Psalm 49, 2, it says, He hath made my mouth like a sharp sword. Now we can be sure that the psalmist did not actually have a sword for a mouth. How would he have eaten? 
So let's dive deeper with questions to help us understand the symbolism. What does a sword do? It attacks, it fights, and it breaks other things down. So maybe the psalmist meant that he was able to use his words to tear down the lies of his enemies. His mouth was like a sword. A shield, a cracked vessel, and a mouth like a sword. Symbolism can help us understand and see things in a totally new light. Now, the more that you read and try to understand the Psalms, the more you'll learn to love and understand the language of God's temples, the language of symbolism. So what is the book of Psalms? It's a book of poetic scripture that helps us see the beautiful picture of God's plan and teaches us to speak the language of symbolism. If you'd like even more help understanding the scriptures, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss a single video.